Take router insert base on the tabletop. Measure and mark for placing the router insert base. Then, use router insert to make the template. Measure and mark on the template made before for making slot, then cut using jigsaw. Use router to make slot for placing the router insert. Use router blade cleaning bottom to make the slot. Check the aluminum whether it is fitted or not. Use router insert as a template on the aluminum. Place the router insert into the hole made before, make sure the position is right and flat. Put Put HMR 15 mm and cut using table saw with width 40 mm. Measure and mark, then cut two pieces using miter saw. Assemble HMR cuts before and clamp it. Measure and mark, then cut two pieces using miter saw. Assemble HMR cuts before and clamp it. After the glue dry, mark to make center point. I will add long nut M12. Drill HMR before using first net a bit 20 millimeters. Put long nut into the hole made before. Put HMR 15 mm and cut using table saw with width 85 mm. Then, cut again using miter saw. Give mark in the center of parts made before. Then, assemble all parts.
Output HMR 15 mm. Measure and mark, and cut four pieces using miter saw. Assemble HMR cuts before and clamp it. I will add bearing. Measure and mark for placing bearing. Drill the mark using first net bit 30 millimeters. Put bearing into the hole made before. Cut 4 pieces HMR 15 millimeters with width 40 millimeters. I put drawer slide, and use it as a template. Give mark on HMR with bearing. Use paper tape to put HMR with bearing as one together. Then cut the mark using cross cut. Assemble all parts. Add mark on the HMR with bearing. Then drill the mark using drill bit 4 millimeters. This hole is used to place wire. After everything is fixed, drill and screw all parts on the position. I use long bolt M12. Two nut M12, then fasten it. I try using drill to check if it worked properly. Cut HMR 15 millimeters with width 130 millimeters. After that, assemble it on the parts before. Cut HMR with size 200 mm x 260 mm. Measure the router using vernier caliper. Measure and mark HMR. Then, I drill the mark to make hole. Measure HMR before, then drill using drill bit 4 mm. I put two pieces mini elbow shelves. Install it under the table. I remove spring in my router for easy upside down on the table. Install slider system under the table and screw it. Install insert table on router. Place insert table on the table. I put bicycle wire brake and clutch bolt. Put the wire brake on the elbow shelves. And put the cable into HMR made before. Then, install wire on the slider system.
After the wire fix, lock using clutch bolt. I try turn on if the system worked properly. Put HMR on router. I will make hand wheel. Easy and safe using this system. Drill HMR using Forster 20 millimeters. And put insert M6 on the edge. Place the hand wheel on the bolt and fasten it. I add handle. Try turn hand wheel with and check if the system worked properly. Easy for turn the router's lift. Cut HMR 15 mm with width 110 mm. Measure and mark HMR. Then, cut the mark. Set up table saw with width 65 mm, and cut HMR. Assemble HMR cuts before on the main base and check using speed square. Cut two pieces HMR 15 mm with width 65 mm. Mark HMR. Drill the mark using drill bit 6 mm, then make the slot using straight bit 6 mm. Assemble all HMR on main base then check using speed square. Cut 4 pieces HMR with width 65 mm. Assemble HMR cuts on main base. Make together the cuts using paper tape and cut using miter saw with angle 15 degrees. Assemble HMR cuts on main base. Measure and mark HMR, and drill to make hole. Assemble on main base, this cover is useful as a dust collector. Put main base, and cut at the center using router. I put HMR 15 mm with width 85 mm and cut two pieces using miter saw. Mark HMR, and drill to add M6 insert. Mark HMR to add T slot.
measure and mark aluminium 2 mm, and cut it. Assemble aluminum on HMR. Then cut the excess of the aluminum using router. I add mini T-track. I use star knob M6 to install the fence on the main base. Clamp router fence with table saw fence. Put T-slot blade on the router. Set up the fence according to the router bit's width. This fence is adjustable. Now, use T-slot for add feather lock. I can add three feather locks. Put vacuum hose on the dust box. Very safe to make slot without kickback. The result looks good and almost without dust on the router table. Add stopper on the router's fence. This stopper is using as a guide to make slot. The result looks good and precision. Thank you.